Congrats also on the solo album. I mean, it's Thank you. It, LP1. Now, LP1, uh, I'm uh, obviously Liam Payne. Yes. That's why LP1. Yes, that, yeah. It's a good place to start. Yes, thank you, yeah. Uh, but I heard that you, you, you let your fans choose the title for this album? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things online these days, different hashtags and things people do. Um, I saw it with Harry's album and Niall's album, and they, they put LP1, and it kind of made sense for Longplay, which obviously is what it is. And oh, yeah. Yeah, so I just let the fans title it for me. That was great. Did your dad have any say in naming this at all? Um, Jeff Payne is not notorious for good names for things. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if you guys know this, if you're a One Direction fan, I, I, I am. And uh, uh, I do know that your dad tried to name the band, and it was, what do you call it, USP or something? Parents, man. What, no, what did your... He, 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 yeah, USP, which was Unique Selling Point, which I think... <laughs> oh, God. Dad, Dad, stop. No, but there was a list, there was like two pages worth of list. It was actually when we first went to rehearse in uh, Manchester at this point, we all sang at the same time because we couldn't move our egos out of the way to choose who would sing the solo parts, which we would have been horrendous. Sang called USP, so it all worked out in the end, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> USP. Um, your, uh, Thanks, Dad. The, the first track uh, is uh, that, that you released called Stack It Up, uh, and, and there was a little confusion over the video you were making for this. Yeah, there was a little bit of a confusion. I mean, a lot of the time when I'm doing things, I get drip-fed bits of information about what we're doing. So uh -huh. they said, you're going to ride a horse. I said, uh -huh. OK, I'll ride a horse. It sounds good. Big budget music video, animals, all fun. Yeah. Um, Do you know how to ride a horse? I, I went and learned how to ride a horse because of it. I thought, I'll go and learn how to ride a horse. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was a trusty little beast. Yeah, and then you got to the... I got to the actual music video on a less trusty little beast, which was, yeah. A carousel. <laughs> You're on a carousel. Mechanical child's toy is actually the professional term. <laughs> yeah, exactly. um, I was like, what the hell is going on? I've yeah. been out learning riding horses. Yeah, no, you're not riding horses. And it was at all. a giraffe. It wasn't even a bloody horse. <laughs> yes, it is a giraffe. Ridiculous. Uh, all we've done so far is embarrass me on this show. <laughs> uh, for the First my dad, now me. <laughs> and it's end. Sorry about that, sorry. <laughs> uh, you have a lot of the collaborations on this, on this record. Uh, uh, you have Zed, you have Rita Ora, Jay Balvin, you have uh, Quavo, Ed Sheeran. Uh, is there anyone that you, uh, you want to collaborate with now that you haven't? Uh... Well, I could think of four people. Yeah. <clears throat> is, um, one, no. is one of them sitting next to you? <laughs> They're outside. Um, <laughs> you can do a duet, it'd be fun. Yeah, I've got imaginary friends. Oh, or them, yes. <laughs> Is there anyone that, like, who do you um, like out there right now that you would sing with? I'd say out of everybody, probably Post Malone. Oh, really? He, he, he actually, he, uh, he actually slid in my DMs one night. Not in that way. <laughs> Wasn't in that way. Okay, yeah, yeah. He, he, <laughs> like, wait, wow, that's came out wrong. He, yeah. he spoke to me in, in my direct message. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> slid in my DMs. Slid in the DM. sounds so yucky. Um, but he came in and was, I don't know why, I think I'd covered his song that week or I said something nice about him. Um, and he was like, love you. It was either Buster or Baxter. So yeah. I'm either a Buster, which I'm not really sure what that is. I think it's it's like American a friend. It means, yeah, it's buddy. Yeah, translation. Hey, Buster. Good. Yeah. Or I'm Baxter, the dog from Anchorman. <laughs> yeah, it was probably Buster. Yeah, I don't think he called you the dog. From I'd take Anchorman. the dog at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'd be fun to do with. He's a fun dude. We, no, I like him a lot. I love that guy. He's just great. Went Olive Garden, right? Yeah, I took him to Olive. I've never been he took me to me neither. He loves Olive Garden. And so he does, he celebrates all his big events. Every time he has something big happen in his life, he goes to Olive Garden and celebrates. So I go, dude, I've never been. So he took me to Olive Garden for the first time. So I guess if I want to collaborate with him, I should just hang out at every Olive Garden. Yes, that's exactly. Do you know that, the date or that's, time or? Dude, just win him over with breadsticks. That's what I'll get him every time. Uh, uh, you're also, uh, you're getting in the, the acting world a little bit too. I heard you. Uh... Yeah, I, I've done a few auditions. Um, it was actually probably the first audition I did that was the most memorable one. Um, I got a call asking to do uh, it was for uh, Steven Spielberg's remake of, um, oh, what's the name of the thing? West Side Story. West Side Story. That's, how did I forget that? Um, and uh, I got to go down a, a, an audition and I sent tapes in. And then I got a message on, on my uh, last birthday saying, you're going to meet SS. So I got to meet Steven Spielberg, which was just the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> He's the coolest. Yeah. It was so good. What was, he, what was he like? He was, yeah, he was, he was really cool. He walked in, he was like, Liam! And I was like, oh my God, Steven Spielberg knows my name. Of course he does. Like, he I... owns Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he created it, absolutely. Yeah. No, it was, um, it, was, it was really good. I mean, the most memorable moment was we were kind of stood there, and he, he films everything, and then there was, he took a little break, and he was like, stood there eating a cookie, and there was like a woman who was like, oh my God, Steven Spielberg's eating a cookie. <laughs> and That's at your first, big I was like, it's just a cookie, but then I was like, no, this is cool, no one sees that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see, uh, what, uh, what song are you going to be performing for us tonight? Um, Live Forever is what I'll be performing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Liam Payne, everybody, his new album, LP1, is out now.
on and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on. 